Okay, so we're gonna do a thing. <laughs> this has like been like 10 plus years in- The thing we were talking about for a little while. <laughs> I know, right? I'm gonna stick needles through Mitch's earlobe. <laughs> <laughs> Because yeah. you've talked, you started talking about this when we were in college. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, like, there was, I mean, okay, we were in college. It was kind of a while ago. We're getting mm, kind of old. Right. So there was rules yeah. at the time, like, oh, guys can't have pierced ears, which is, like, like so foreign even now. Right, for sure. Be because, like, everyone does. So, like, you wanted to get them, mm -hmm. but they you didn't. didn't because I had this one up here. So I've had, I yeah. had one. Like, yeah, but you didn't wear an earring in it until... No, until after college. So we decided, well, we're just on vacation. We're going to... Do it. We're going to do it. And rather than going into a place, we just bought some sterile one-use piercing needles because, mm -hmm. like, single-use, we're going to yep. pop them through. And you ready to do this? I guess so. I already marked his earlobes. Lovely little spots, so that, and I tested them, made sure that they it, matched up. They matched up, and you ready? I guess I am. Okay. I don't have a choice. <laughs> okay, do you want to start I with, can't, can't. which, do you have a I preference can't. on which one you start with? Do it. Okay, let me just, I'm going to see it, I'm going to just clean both of them. I was putting a cork behind there. Are you ready? Which angle are you going through it on? I'm going straight in. Okay. Here, I can, um, I can sit here to make sure that it... Okay, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did it hurt? Mm-hmm, a little bit. It's in there. Okay, don't move, because I'll get your earring in. Okay. Doesn't feel too bad? No. It's just a little pinch in the back. Yeah. I've had piercings with these hollow needles, and they, as long as you go nice and quick, I was trying to go quick, I just... <laughs> you did. Part of my feeling right now is that I'm tired, and so it's like, you know, everything feels extreme when you're tired. Awesome. That's what I get for doing it at 1030 at night. Oh yeah. I just the transfer can be a little uncomfortable and so I want to make sure that mm. they're so tiny. <laughs> and I have I have a ton of replacements because I've lost one before. It's okay. done. What do you think? What we see in the mirror, it's pretty cool. Dang. Ten years and going. Oh boy. <laughs> it's done, we did. Oh my goodness, a little bit of pain, a little bit of mindless scrolling on Facebook. Yeah. Well, it was getting the the needle going through that is was, never bad. No, it's it always an issue. putting the earring in after. Mm -hmm. That was the hard part for sure. And that's what's happened with my piercings too. The the actual piercing isn't so bad, it's the Mm -hmm, but the earring going in. One over there. One over there. What do you think? Dude, I went from one piercing to three piercings while Manny was sleeping. So one time, I, in a, in a, in a span of two days, <laughs> oh, I got three piercings. Um, and my best friend got four. <laughs> she ended up taking one out because... It's too many. It was too many. I like it. You do? I think they look good. Yeah, yeah, now you have three. I have nine. Yeah. <laughs> I went from but one. I, hey, I, I not, tripled. You're wearing I more earrings than me. I tripled my piercing quota. I need to re-pierce my holes because I did my first holes at home when I was like 13. With just a piercing stud pushed through. No, it wasn't a piercing stud. It was, normal it was stud. A, just a regular stud because oh. I was really ignorant and I didn't know how it was done mm -hmm. and so I tried sticking a safety pin in there and it was really hurting because it was so sharp and probably like rusty or something really bad and so then I just took an earring just a stud earring no it was like a dangly earring like one of those curved ones mm. and I just 
popped it through and it was bleeding and it hurt and then my second holes I got done with a gun which was not a good idea mm -mm. and then my cartilage I got done with a gun like my helix and then my third holes I did at home we were married when I did yep. those at home and I should have gone and just paid to get those done or or ordered piercing needles right but I wasn't gonna put you through what I went through with piercing my now I, I wouldn't have done that nice. <laughs> I wouldn't have done it I would put it up another so 10 I years so I think I might I might get myself some piercing needles and re-pierce mine because when I wear earrings and I, like I don't know it just really pain I think some of that is just I don't I have to find a metal that works well yeah, with my skin yeah metal allergies yeah no but those earrings I think when you're done with them you're I stealing might, them I probably you're will stealing steal them are you it's okay because like my them. the earrings I want originally are sitting on the dresser. Yeah, but these will be good. These will be good for healing and cleaning. They're easy and to clean like that. around. Yeah, that's why we got these two. Yep. Yep. <laughs> You're just giddy, aren't you? You're like, I just did it. I just did it. I just I'm, did it. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I've and never two. done that before. I mean, other than like my mm. own, which was really bad. I did Jason's one time. In yeah, college. you did with a like with a needle, like a sewing needle. I shouldn't have done it, but. Done Pop it. That right was through. Smart. And I didn't even wear them anymore. Nope. Anyway, we'll be back on tomorrow. All right. Good night, guys. Good night. We'll see you later. Good morning. Manny, what are you doing right now? I clean my shoes. You have to clean your shoes. Now, why would you clean your shoes? The sign says. Yeah. Mitch is back to work today, and so I wanted to kind of come up with something fun and outdoors that Manny and I could do, the two of us. And so I was just looking at places to go in the area and I've lived here most of my life and I never knew that this trail was back here. So we thought we would come and check it out. And there's a spot when you first walk in where you clean your shoes because, you know, you can bring in different seeds and types of dirt that carries all kinds of stuff into the trails and it affects the wildlife. So I thought that was pretty cool. You got your shoes all clean? You ready to go? Do you hear that creek? Do you hear the water? Yeah, let's walk. So there's a, it's, from what I understand, it's like a 20, 30 minute walk if you don't stop too much. And it's just a trail that goes in one big loop. You ready for this? Yep. It's hot out. My shoes are still dirty. My shoes are still dirty. Well, they're not going to get perfectly clean, I guess. Oh yeah, another bridge. He's loving this. And it's nice for me too. Gets me out moving. A little more exercise. Sometimes I think that's why people have dogs, is to get them out walking every day. It is nice. Sometimes this can be a thing that's really hard for me to be motivated to do. To like, well, to look up places or to, just to be organized with it, I guess. Um, I'm more of a spontaneous doer, not... A planner but I am a planner I don't know I'm weird but when I do these things I'm always really glad I do it and they give me energy where are we gonna go let's see let's take a look at the map we're at point six you know what happened what? okay we were here and when we came up here yeah. remember the bridge split yeah. instead of going this way we went this way so we did this um, but now we're here, we can go back this way if you want. Uh -huh. Or do we want to just turn around and um, go back and get, take that split on the bridge? Let's do that. What so, about going to one? That's where we just were. That's where we started. Then let's go. Okay, we'll go this way. I'm going to go this way. But that, you want to start all over? Yeah. Okay, we can start over. See how big that rock is? Oh, it looks like a hippo almost. Oh, yeah, that's totally it's, right. It's really huge. Okay, so we're back to where we were, and see this? Remember the bridge we walked and went this way, right? This is the way we're supposed to go. Oh. And this goes up and around a little, it looks like a little lake or something. We'll see if there's a good place we can get near the creek up here.
Too cold for your feet. Creeks tend to be kind of cold. I think it's because they're always moving. I feel like you can't capture on camera what this actually looks like. It's very pretty though. Hey, mama. Shivering cold. You feel a shivering cold? Yes. But I want to still go in there. Mama, come with me too. You want me to put my feet in there too? Yeah. Right. Hang Mama. On. Hang on. Well, I just dip my toes in the water. And it's freezing. I don't know how you were walking in it. It's freezing. Simple. Well, I mean, I know how, like, literally how you were walking in it. But I don't know how you were not freezing. This is not freezing water. You understand, baby? You understand? Well, it's cold. Careful how far you're splashing that. I don't want to get all... I don't want to get the camera wet, especially. So pretty. You like this spot? Is this a good spot? Yes, it is. You think we should keep walking the trail? Yeah. See what's next? Yeah. Wanna play here for a bit? Yeah. 